Why is Shell, the titan of the oil industry, stirring things up? Shell isn't just saying goodbye to a few gas stations, they're closing down a thousand of them. That's a big number, right? But why are they doing this? It's not just because they want to use more electricity instead of petrol, it's about getting ready for what's coming next. Shell is hitting the brakes on 500 gas stations in the next year, and guess what? Another 500 are lined up to close down too. That's a thousand petrol pumps disappearing by 2025. But why are they doing this exactly? It's not just to be nice to the environment, it's a smart move to prepare for the future. Shell isn't just closing doors, they're opening new ones and they're mind-blowing. Imagine those old gas stations morphing into sleek, futuristic electric charging hubs. Shell isn't just cautiously testing the electric waters, they're diving head first. They're not just satisfied with just a few charging points, oh no, they're aiming for the stars. By 2030, they're aiming to have a staggering 200,000 charging points worldwide. That's quadruple what they've got now. So, what's in it for us? Electric vehicles aren't just a passing trend, they're the future. And with Shell leading the charge, pulling up to a charging station might soon be as routine as filling up a gas tank. Exciting times ahead, wouldn't you agree? Shell plans to divest 500 Shell-owned sites a year in 2024. The company shared this on page 28 of its document as initially spotted by Bloomberg and reported on by numerous media outlets, including Tassara. They've also made it clear that their focus is on public charging stations rather than home charging. Essentially, they're looking to transform themselves into what they are today, but with electricity. Looking at their plans, it's evident that many of these charging stations will be popping up in China and Europe, where Shell has a significant presence. Surprisingly, there aren't as many plans for the American continent, but we wouldn't be surprised if Shell changes that soon. With the electric car company booming, North America seems like a logical next step for expansion. So why is Shell so focused on public charging stations? They believe it's what their customers will need the most in the future. And guess what? They're leveraging their massive global network of service stations, which happens to be one of the largest in the world. Now that's a major competitive advantage right there. Shell isn't just content with just providing charging points. Nope. They're taking it a step further by offering convenience retail offerings to customers while they charge their cars. Now that's a page right out of Tesla's own playbook. So why is Shell going all in on public charging stations? Well, it's simple really. They see the writing on the wall. Electric vehicles are the future. And to stay ahead of the curve, they're not just adapting, they're innovating. By offering a seamless charging experience coupled with convenient retail options, they're aiming to make the transition to electric vehicles as smooth as possible for their customers. And let's not forget about the convenience factor. Imagine pulling up to a Shell charging station, plugging in your car, and grabbing a coffee or a snack while you wait. It's like killing two birds in one stone, charging your car, and taking care of errands at the same time. Now that's what's called efficiency. Ever wondered how Shell plans to make money from electric vehicle charging? As they expand into this new business venture, Shell expects to make a tidy profit with an internal rate of return of 12% or higher. Now that's some serious cash flow potential right there. But that's not all. Despite making some adjustments to their carbon emissions targets for the next decade, Shell is still laser focused on reaching net zero carbon by 2050. Now you might be thinking, hold on a minute. Isn't Shell an oil company? How are they going to achieve net zero carbon emissions? Well, that's a valid question. But here's the thing. Shell isn't just sitting on their hands. They're rolling up their sleeves and getting to work. In fact, they're planning to invest 10 to $15 million into low carbon energy solutions between 2023 and 2025. Yep, you heard that right. Billions of dollars are on the table and Shell isn't just throwing money around for the fun of it. They're serious about making a difference. By investing in low carbon energy solutions, they're paving the way for a greener, more sustainable future. But let's not sugarcoat it. Reaching net zero carbon emissions is no easy feat, especially for an oil company. It's a lofty goal, but Shell is putting their money where their mouth is. They're not just talking the talk, they're walking the walk. And with billions of dollars on the line, they're showing the world that they're serious about making a positive impact on the environment. 
Their strategy involves supporting key oils used in offshore winds and the development of EV batteries. It's interesting to note that even in the pursuit of electric vehicles, there's still a reliance on certain components derived from oil, particularly in EV battery packs like the plastic parts and battery housings. So while Shell is still pivoting towards a greener future, they're also ensuring they stay relevant in the evolving energy landscape. Additionally, Shell is expanding its premium loop portfolio to supply key energy transition sectors such as transformer oils used for offshore wind parks and cooling fluids to support the development of electric vehicle car batteries. It's a strategic move to align with the growing demand in these crucial areas of the energy transition. Last year, they made quite the splash. They hit the headlines by snapping up the United States EV charging network Volta Charge. But here's the kicker, they didn't stop there. Nope, they also forged dozens of partnerships to boost EV development. Now that's what we call making moves in the right direction. But here's where it gets interesting. Some folks might be scratching their heads, wondering if buying Volta Charge was a smart move. Why? Well, here's the deal. Volta Charge doesn't feature the latest charging standard. So, was it a wise move for Shell to make such a move? It's a valid question, no doubt about it. After all, in the fast-paced world of EVs, having the latest technology is crucial. But here's the thing, Shell isn't just playing a short-term game here, they're playing the long one. And sometimes, that means making strategic moves that might not make sense at first glance. So while some might question Shell's decision to acquire Volta Charge, it's important to look at the bigger picture. Sure, they might not have the latest charging standard now, but who's to say they won't adapt and evolve in the future? After all, Shell isn't one to sit on the sidelines. They're constantly innovating and looking for ways to stay ahead of the curve. How does Shell's charging network stack up against the competition? Well, here's the lowdown. According to the National Renewable Energy Laboratory, Shell Recharge accounted for about 1.7% of the public DC fast charging network in the United States in Q3 of last year. Now that might sound like a decent chunk, right? But hold on to your hands, because here comes the kicker. When you compare Shell's 1.7% to Tesla's market dominance, it's like David versus Goliath. Tesla's supercharger network is a behemoth capturing a staggering 61.8% of the market share. Yep, that's right guys, Tesla is way ahead of the game when it comes to charging infrastructure. So what does this mean for Shell? Well, it's certainly clear that they've got some serious catching up to do. In a world where electric vehicles are gaining traction by the day, having a robust charging network is certainly key. And with Tesla leading the pack, Shell needs to step up its game if it wants to stay in the race. In the world of electric vehicles, things are changing fast, especially when it comes to charging standards. Well, while Shell may have some ground to cover in the electric vehicle charging realm, they're certainly not backing down from the challenge. If you're invested in Shell's vision, it might be worth keeping a close eye on their moves in the space. As always, thanks for tuning in and don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel.